sidewalk. Yep. I'd like to get one ticket for today's show, please. I am sorry. All of those tickets have been sold. But all of those tickets have been sold, too. Well, that's not great at all. It, but there isn't even one seat available. Imagine that. Not even one. Huh. Not even one seat. That's a great idea. If we take his chair there, Bob can have a seat at the theater just like he wanted. But what about his seat? So I guess we'll have to take Bob's seat to the theater with Hissy still on it. Come on, sleeping Hissy. You're coming on our mission, too. Watch out! Which way is that theater from here? It's probably this way. Unless it's that way. Or, or, or maybe it's some other way. Where are you two going with this sit on -y thingy? It's Bob's seat. We're getting it to the theater for him. Oh, okay then. The quickest way to the theater is to take that shortcut through the pillow stuffing factory. Then let's get Bob's seat straight through it. <laughs> To get to that theater, you're going to have to push that thing up a really big hill. Are we there yet? Yep. At the top of a hilly hill hill. We did it, Rolly. Uh-oh. Look, look. This chair goes downhill a lot faster than it goes up them. OK, the truck's all loaded. Hey, can you take these things to the theater where they're doing that play? To the theater where they're doing that play? Thanks for delivering this stuff. Exactly what Bob wanted. Is this where the people in the play get ready to go out? Aw, oh, beans! The throne was supposed to be in that delivery truck. We need a throne or we can't do the play. Citizens of Dog Sylvania, before I sit on my uh, uh, musicians, sound the trumpets before the decree. Kitty! Hey, you theater dog, leave that kitty alone! Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, an extra ticket for tonight's show. I better get this to Bob. I'm ready to make my exit. You're getting away, Hissy! Keep going! Do you think he'll be coming back? No? We were on a mission. Yeah, should have guessed mission. Oh, boy. Yeah, Queen Kazoo can't sit on a regular... Nobody failed. Your mission was to get Bob's chair to the theater, which is exactly what you did. Bob is going to that show. <gasps> That's a ticket for tonight. Come on, pups. Our new mission is to... Here he comes. Get ready. <laughs> okay, guys, easy. Hold on. Just let me check my mail, and then the three of us can play together. Sticky mess. What's this? Hey, it's a ticket for tonight's performance of... As Queen of Dog Sylvania, I say to thee, let my puppies go! Thanks for letting us watch the show from here. I'm glad you came back to see the rest of it, and that your friend Bob is seeing it too. <laughs> I don't want to be a shark monster. We're pretending we're surfers, and we need you to be the shark monster. <sighs> ah, it's a shark monster! Stay away from the shark monster, Oli! Head up! <laughs> we like seeing you too, Bob. We were pretending to surf and... And rough, rough to you guys too. I would love to feel that sand on my toes someday. Hmm. 
Hope you guys find something fun to do while I'm not here. Could be a bit noisy all day. Did you hear what Bob said? Just barely. That leaf blower really is noisy. You and I are going on a mission. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! We should take some dog biscuits with us for the airplane ride. Good thing Bob invented these collars for us to put stuff in. to Hawaii. I think we figured it out. I hope whoever's flying this plane doesn't make it do loop-de-loops, cause that hurts my tummy. Oh, Frank. <laughs> and aloha to you, little puppies. I was talking about that thing around your neck. It's a lay. And so is this. Rolly. I hope I don't get sunburned, cause that hurts my tummy. Come on, the beach is where all the sand is. <laughs> and it's exactly what I need to chase crabs on. <laughs> this thing just got personal. We need something big that flies. Like a big fly? Bigger and flyer. So let's get to work. Uh, no, I mean, wait! Oh no. We need a boat! I knew that shock would come in handy. Ship, but I've got a crab to catch. Broly, we came here to get Sam for Bob's toes. Not chase everything that's crawling on the beach. Uh, I'm floating. We're both floating. In the ocean! Yeah, we poor leggers are gonna ride the next wave. And whoever surfs the best wins a trophy. But we've never surfed for real before. Grab that wave and head for the shore. Keep your eyes on the ocean and your paws on the board. If you forget to wait, just give it a shot. Doggies won the surfing contest. First place. <laughs> and we still need something to put it in. <laughs> I'm gonna find you, Krabby. Bob's gonna be so happy when he sees all the sand for his toes. We should celebrate by eating those dog biscuits I put in our collars. Yeah. All we have to do is get this inside and... What's happening? It's the gardener's leaf blower. It's pulling all the sand away. We have all the sand we need, all over the two of us. Shake, but not till Bob gets home. Come on! Let's see, there were no little puppies around to almost run me over, or wake me up from my nap, or beg me to be a shark monster until I finally said, okay. I've been looking forward to seeing you all day. Whoa, what'd you two get into? <laughs> Oh, actually, that feels really good. Like what the beach must feel like in Hawaii. <laughs> Looks like you two are in the mood for a fetch-filled day. But I've got something better than a drippy old stick. I invented it just for you. I've already started over on several versions of this invention because they weren't working right. I hope this is the one that finally works. Play fetch with me. <laughs> oh, somebody needs to bring it back. Job. <laughs> Yippity dog! I think this one's a keeper. When that stick lands somewhere but you can't get it, there it goes again. Now watch it come right back. See you later, doggy dudes. Too bad about that stick. It seemed really nice for a stick. I wonder why it didn't come back. 
Broly, Bob said he needed to start over with a new version of his invention. So maybe we should help him by getting rid of this one for him. Play fetch with me. <laughs> no, you silly stick. <laughs> We're trying to get rid of you. <laughs> our toys here, so this is the perfect place to get rid of this stick. <laughs> the perfect place to get rid of what? Leave us alone, Cupcake. <laughs> oh, this is a weird game that Stick likes to play. It keeps wanting to come back to us because that's what Bob made it to do. Well, then I changed my mind. I don't want it. Dig a big hole and drop it in Then kick that dirt back on top again Bury it A puppy's gonna bury it See you later, Stick I mean, we don't want to see you later, Stick Yeah, you're being grounded <laughs> You're a good hole digger, Oli And you just as uh, It just keeps wanting to play with us some more Play fetch with me Okay if that stick is gonna keep coming at us... Play fetch with me! Play fetch with me! Come on! That stick won't be able to find us if we hide in there. Play fetch with me! Won't that stick just go boingity boing 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 in here and then we'll have to run away again? Woohoo! Yeah! What's that sound? The bouncy house is losing its air! Yeah, that sign said so! Play fetch with me! Play fetch with me! <laughs> Can't you just please stop trying to come back to us? Yeah, we want to get out of this sticky situation! Not yet! Not yet! Now! Now for real now? Now for real now! <laughs> Me neither, but at least we did what Bob wanted us to do. Yeah, when we want to get rid of something, we get it gotten rid of. Huh? Play fetch with me. This way! Run! Faster! <laughs> We're already going faster! <laughs> Listen. Are you two having a doggy house day? It's Bob! Bob. Oh. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Bob, you're, you're you! you. Whoa! <laughs> Not tired of fetch yet, huh? How about we play fetch with me? Uh, no thanks. Play fetch with me. Uh, don't really want to. Play fetch with me. The French Toast Connection. Hey there, pup stars. I see you started breakfast. It's time for my breakfast, too. Breakfast time! I can't wait to make myself a couple of pieces of French toast. Well, that ruins this morning. Oh, I love to imagine. Bingo! Rolly! I'm home! Bob! Hi, Bob! I want Bob being a Bob. Then we've got to find what he needs to make French toast fast. <laughs> go on a mission. Five, four, three, two, one! Okay, our mission is to bring home the best kind of French toast making bread for Bob. I wish there was a French merry-go-round there so I could ride an up-and-down horsey. Hmm, I'm not sure where we're supposed to start looking for what we're supposed to be looking for. 
Follow that tum tum. Huh. Where's all the bread? I am making more as quickly as I can. Are you puppies looking for French bread like everyone else? Yeah, otherwise Bob's gonna be all... Uh, where's my French toast? I had more bread cooling outside, but it's gone. Are there any clues about who might have taken it? I did see some tiny footprints leading away from where the bread used to be. None of those big feet would have left tiny footprints. Ooh! Uh, Holy! What are you? Let's go! If those mice get away, we'll never find the bread Bob needs to make French toast. They're not getting away. We've got you now, you tiny footed bread takers! We did not take any bread. Then why were you running away? Because we were being chased by two scary looking dogs. That's another clue. Do you know what it means? Yes, I know what the word clue means. That's one of the first things they teach us at detective school. Hmm, a flapping noise. Hey, you flapping, sounding, tiny footed bread takers! Bob can't have French toast because of you! Oh no, they're getting away! How are we gonna stop them? But they're also webbed. None of the clues said anything about webbed feet. That's because we didn't take anything. Then why were you running away? Because two scary-looking dogs were chasing us. <laughs> oh, Jew, if only there were clues I could actually follow. Did you hear that, Rolly? Breadcrumbs. So there's one thing we have to do. Race ya! The race is on. The race is on. The race is on. I win! Those sneaky little bread hiders. But we still don't know who's been hiding in here. Maybe we should ask those pigeons who are hiding in here. Hoping they would feed us bird seed instead. Well, why didn't you just not eat the bread they were feeding you? Yeah, then people will feed you bird seed like you want. Mwah. That is one really good idea. I don't know why everyone kept feeding bread to these pigeons. They like our bird seed a whole lot more. Which means there's more bread for my tum tum. Hey, bread! Oh. Mm. Mm. What a treat! Bob seems really happy that you found bread for his French toast. Your scary bear face is even better than Rolly's. This is my normal face. Oh.